Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Make Up. I was really hoping that I could do a makeup tutorial for you today, but I woke up and my stupid eyelid skin is being a big arse again, so I can't do anything. I have no makeup on it at the moment, so I just want to let that clear up. Um, I think it was to do, well, I like, I don't think this is the reason it's there in the first place, but I think it was um, irritated by a shampoo and conditioner I used this morning, the Nioxin, because you can even see here in this picture what it did to my neck when it ran down my neck, the conditioner ran down my neck in the shower and left this massive red welt. So <clears throat> I think that's why my poor old eyes are suffering today. So I thought I'd do a shift stash because I haven't done one in a while and I have a few bits to get through. Um, I just did that Primark or Penny's Beauty uh, like try on first impressions haul the last day um, and then like a week after getting that box of stuff I got a whole other box of stuff I don't know why they staggered it because I didn't know I was getting two boxes so I'm not going to do another try on haul but I'll show you quickly the other bits I got so I think the first box was just all face stuff and then this box is all eye stuff um, God, I wonder does that mean they're gonna send a lip box now? Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I did actually buy a couple of bits today as well in pennies, but I'll show you quickly what I got, really, really quickly. Um, you can watch the other video here if you're interested in that, by the way. Okay, so I was sent this, which is the Smoky Eyeshadow Brush. Yeah, I didn't know what the name was of this was the last day, because I already have one. I love this. I actually call it my concealer brush because that's what I use it for. So it's like a fluffy brush on this end. They're synthetic, that's why I love them for concealer. And then you have an angled side this end. And because it comes to a point, it's brilliant for spot concealing. I love this for concealer. I don't actually use it for eyeshadow, but you can, I suppose. There's nothing stopping you and that's what it's for. So that's one euro 50 cent. Love that. And um, would highly recommend that to anyone for concealer and, and cream products more than anything else because I haven't really used it for eyeshadow but I'm glad to have a backup of that because I do really love it. Another backup I was glad to get were these guys. So these are the um, individual lashes and they are in little tufts rather than like one single individual lash. So they are in a little band, it's like three little individual lashes on a band which are so handy, so much quicker to apply especially in a job when you're in a hurry. Um, so yeah, I really like that. I never use the glue that comes with it. I always just use my duo glue, which actually you can get in pennies or Primark at the moment as well. But um, these are fierce handy. And I know that loads of Irish bloggers are ornamental for them. And for good reason, they're actually really, really good. Okay, now, I don't think I've tried anything else that was sent to me. This PS Nudes eyeshadow palette, it's a very reminiscent of the MAC 9's palette. I don't know where mine is, but um, yeah, first of all, there's a little, even though the, it, it was kind of taped shut or there was a little sticker on it, there is a finger mark in this one, which I wasn't too excited about, and there's marks in them, so that's a bit weird. But, um, I don't even know if I'll try this, I might just give it to my sister to try out. I saw a few other Irish bloggers saying that the colour payoff in this was just a bit dismal. So I'm not sure if we can expect much from it, but sure, for 250. I wouldn't expect loads. Like, there's certain things that I think budget brands can do really well, like super budget brands. And then I think you do have to pay a little bit more for certain other things, so I'm not sure you can expect much. A good, like, starter eyeshadow for younger girls or whatever. Um, but, yeah, something that'll probably pass very, very quickly through my makeup stash. This brow kit, I haven't tried. Um, yeah, it's just a regular brow kit with, I should open a freeze. Um, it's a brow kit with two powders and a gel and I don't know if there are other colours, I was just given the one that has brown in it. It comes with wee tweezers which look absolutely useless just from the look and then a little brush. So yeah, you have your two powders here, you have a light, I'd say it probably is one colour because that probably could do a lot of blondes. Uh, dark brown, light brown and then you have this warm brown. Um, but that is a brow wax, yeah. It's a bit weird the way it's a totally different, totally different uh, texture, or not texture, um, tone, that's what I'm trying to say. So those are 250 as well. So yeah, now I know I don't like these. I actually tried them before. It's the band I hate. It's just um, that black band. It's not actually the worst ever. I think I just don't like them as well because they don't flare. 
but these are handy to use for super dramatic looks or for like Halloween videos, so I will keep them for that. I just wouldn't use them for everyday bridal look, or ugh, bridal, <laughs> bridal on the brain, everyday beauty looks or like bridal work, just because they're just not the best shape. But like I said, the stew will be handy for the kit. Um, again, only 150. It does come with like a false, false eyelash glue, but I don't think I'd use it. These are not my favorite ones anyhow. Um, I do really like those individual ones though. Now, another thing that I got, which could come in handy for some people, are these eyebrow stencils. Um, I always laugh the way eyebrow stencils are all so thin. Like you'd never get a stencil thick enough or as thick as in my eyebrows. So I think that's a shame. I think they need to start giving thicker stencils. Now, yeah, these are all very, very thin. Can you see that? Like they're all fairly thin anyhow. Like they're not thick, thick. They all look the same to me. I don't know. Anyhow, like I said, those could be handy for someone um, starting out or, I know my friend Ashleen was asking me about stencils because she does a, um, she teaches a makeup class in Galway. She said they'd be handy for her students. So I might give these to her. Um, they're one euro for six stencils though. So you can't really go wrong, can you? You can't really go wrong with a lot of these. Um, I mean, like it won't break the bank to try them out. Clear brow gel. This is, um, again, 150. So that'll just be handy for myself. I am using my bourgeois one at the moment, but I'll try this one afterwards. And then I also got a dark brown brow gel. Again, could come in handy, 150. So you can't really go wrong with these, with the brow gels, like, well, I suppose you can, but not too much. Um, I got a dark brown brow pencil. Is this the brow pencil that everyone was going, no, 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 it was the other one. Cause I showed, uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. I showed this one here, the brow pencil crayon. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm befrogging my throat. Um, I showed this one the last day, this was 150, and this was one that got a lot of bloggers um, very excited when it first came out. And yeah, yeah, I think that's quite decent. So I'm not sure what this, if maybe this is a harder formula, I'd say it's not like a crayon. Again, 150. Um, brow products are something I'll always use because, uh, pencils, not pencils, not products in general. The powders I'm not bothered about because I have so many of them, it takes me just to get through them pencils you'll use though. This is a brow pencil with a spoolie on the end, which I do like. And I'm just going to give it a quick um, swatch. Oh, I like that. It's soft without being too melty. It's not very smudgy, but it's not too hard. I think I might. You know, actually I have nothing in my brows today. It's fairly soft, but like not so much so that just melting. Ooh. It is quite dark, but um, it's quite it's nice. It's not warm, which is good. A lot of um, a lot of uh, brow pencils that are brown can be very warm, which is uh, oftentimes just not suitable. So, yeah, I'm liking that. I'm gonna keep that one for myself. Get rid of the box, and that's one fifty as well. They all seem to be 150. I was sent the mascara. Hmm, I'm not sure I'll be bothered trying this, but I know my little sister is always looking out for mascara. Um, so I will give this to her, I'd say, and see how she gets on with it. It just says the Volume Boost Mascara Black, 150 again. Surprise, surprise. Now something I have heard about is this guy, which is the Felt Tip Eyeliner with a precision nib for two euro. So I'm gonna quickly open that. Do I need, no, this one's already open. Um, because when I was talking about the other face bits that I got the last day on my Snapchat, uh, a couple of subscribers actually told me about this. So now, I just don't like felt tip stuff in general, so I could absolutely hate it. And there's plenty of felt tip. I don't even like the look of it, sorry. No. It's way too thick looking. Now it could be, good in that it mightn't dry up as much and all that kind of stuff but I hate those fat nibs. Someone who loves that or loves these felt tip pens in general is my older sister. <laughs> so both sisters will get a few of these bits so I'm going to give this to Aoife. 
if I were to give her a bunch of eyeliners the last day, but she'll use them anyhow because she does go through them. So um, other people have said they like this for the price, maybe can't go wrong. And um, yeah, I know a few other people are saying that they wouldn't know what to think about makeup that's that inexpensive. And they were asking me because I have mentioned in the past how um, very, very cheap makeup you have to be wary of because of possible heavy metals. Now I need to um, quickly address that. When I said that, it was actually my older brother who's a scientist who tests all this stuff, said to be wary of them. But he's talking about the really cheap stuff that comes from kind of no name brands or like these weird brands that you've never heard of. So this kind of makeup that comes from massive, a massive company like Pennies or Primark that has like millions of euro behind them to do research and development into their makeup, they're pretty okay. You can trust them. Like they couldn't afford to be putting out makeup that has really dangerous and dangerous ingredients in them. It's like when you go into like a a two euro shop and you see this brand that has some kind of weird name or some kind of weird knockoff name that's supposed to be like another brand, but it's not. And you've never heard of them before and they're some, their parent company is some small little weird company from some far, far off country. Um, those are the ones you have to be worried about. So I just want to clear that up. Okay, let's get on to, so that's all the stuff that was sent to me by Primark. So that's the eyes stuff. Now, a few bits I bought today. I showed this guy in Friday's video, which I love. It is the crayon um, number one, I think. Yeah, so it's the matte crayon in this fab um, kind of orange color and big fan of that. So I, I had seen this one for ages. This is number 10. Um, it's the same formula, but it is a bit more pinky. So it's kind of like impassioned by MAC, that color. This is, this is what I bought today. And um, these are 250. Really recommend those. When I was in there today, I saw that they have other lip crayons, but they're in a different packaging. I don't know what those ones are like. And I was just a bit reluctant to get them. I like, I don't want to be wasting money on stuff like that. Um, cause I have enough makeup basically. So I decided I would um, just pick up this one cause I know that I love the formula love the color and that's all I have on today. I have no um, no lip pencil on underneath, yeah. What I do, did try underneath though is this lip primer. So this is interesting. Um, Cause I'm nearly, well, I'm actually finished the, all the MAC ones for myself. I have a one for my kit and I have an Urban Decay one, which is for my kit as well. So I thought this would be nice to try. Now, when I was looking at the ingredients, it's like mineral oils and various waxes and stuff like that and um, emollients. So I think this might be much more emollient than the MAC one in that like, you know the way the MAC one and the Urban Decay one sets? I don't know if this one will set because I popped it on and then a minute later it was still kind of like wet and slippy. Um, but it feels nice on the lips and that like moisturizes them and will take away dryness. So I'll have to try it a little bit. It's only 150. It'd be great if it worked to like lengthen the wear of your lips. Um, and then I picked these up because of, actually that girl I was uh, mentioned earlier on, Ashley and the girl who teaches the class. She, I was doing a job with her the last day and she had this in her kit and she was saying how it's like amazing. It's um, by Essence. It's their long lasting lip liner in number seven plum cake. Cause when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that color is savage. So let me show you. Savage is a good thing by the way. <laughs> Look at that. It's that gorgeous dusky plum. Um, it's what I think the plum by Mac is, but I think I don't like the plum, like plum lip liner by Mac is like this dark, muddy kind of plum. Whereas this is a lovely, smooth, but not muddy plum. Do you know what I mean? It's just that perfect, perfect plummy pink color. And um, I was like, I'm so picking that up when I saw hers. And again, they only cost one, hmm, 20, no, 180. Was it 180, 190? Yeah, something like that. So I got a couple of them. I got that one, which was um, plum cake, number seven. It was the last one there. I also got this, which is lovely frappuccino. So this one is more of a, yeah, a bit more slightly brown. Still in the plum family though. Like it's a plummy brown. That's class looking as well. I, I, they're so soft guys. I think that's one of the reasons why Ashley was such a fan of them. And then this one, I really liked the look of it. It's called Girl Next Door. It's um, a lovely nude. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's a really nice nude. Um, I personally don't like when nudes are too like peachy or too pink. This seems to be just a really lovely 
um, like you know for fair skin this seems to be a lovely bang on nude so that one is called girl next door number eight so loving those loving the look of those and um Ashley did say that it lasts long. Okay, the last couple of things I picked up from Penny's then was another one. This is the only pack in there actually, the Essence uh, Half Lashes. I love these. They're just great. And um, yeah, I use them on clients and on myself um, because they are the business for the price. And I love them. They're just really good quality. They're grand, like you can't get about them. I think that was like four euro, I think you spend on those. And then these guys, they have Ardell Wispies or Demi Wispies or whatever you want to call them, Wispies in um, pennies as well. These are five euros each, which are definitely cheaper than what you'd spend, pay for them in like pennies, not pennies, in boots or whatever. So I got the Demi Wispies and I love these ones. I love these ones that um, flare up at the outer corner. So I got these for my kit. Um, they get longer at the outer corner and thinner on the inner corner and they're lovely and wispy, <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, so love those and just got those two today but I will need to get more. Now I have Mac things I want to show you which will finish the video but I just want to show you the two, the only two hair things I have. So I was um, showing this on Snapchat, my hair is going a bit flat at the moment but um, I used, um, okay I'm getting sidetracked, I always get so distracted. Um, I got this L'Oreal Studio Line Hot and Go, blah, blah, blah. it's the Hot and Go Fast Blow Dry. So basically this is a heat protectant spray that in, um, decreases your blow dry time. So it um, quickens your blow dry time. It's it's mad like, and I wasn't sure how it works, but I think I read something in a, I think I read, I did read something in an article saying that it's something to do with that it, I think it coats the hair with silicone and that traps in the heat which doesn't sound like it'd be great for your hair now that I'm thinking about it. But it says it, it's, um, it protects the hair from heat. But like by trapping in the heat with the silicone, it makes it dry faster. But whatever the way it works then, it's supposed to be um, good for your hair because it, I don't know. Who I don't know nothing about hair, never mind me. I don't know nothing, geez, my dad would kill me if you heard me saying that. I don't know anything about hair, but fast blow dry, dries, uh, easier styling. And I tried it out this morning on Snapchat and it did work. It was like dry within five minutes. Not even, like just a couple of minutes. I just blasted it dry and it did dry really, really quickly. Like not in two seconds quickly, but definitely quicker than usual. And um, that's handy when you're in a hurry. So there you go. I don't know what else to say about that. That's just the L'Oreal Fast Blow Dry Spray. Then I got this as well, which is the L'Oreal Studio Pro Boosted Volume Hairspray. I just really liked a the can and b the fact that it was on half price when i was in duns <laughs> i can't remember how much this was um could this have been on sale as well i think both of them were and that's why i picked them up i think this was something like three or something and then this was maybe two or three like they were ridiculously cheap i was like how are they so inexpensive but again it was because they were on sale and um, this has a stronghold four out of five and it just boosts the hair it probably just coats it with something i don't know Instant Volume XL, up to 48 hours endurance. I don't have this one on today, I have. I did use this, but um, yeah, I used this the last day and it worked. So there you go, seems to be good. That's the Studio Pro Line. They're both L'Oreal, yeah. Studio Line, Pro Line. So I just love these big, huge ones because you go through the small ones too quickly. Okay, let's quickly move on to the MAC things, which is gonna finish off the video. There is a new collection. Oh, am I allowed to show you actually? Hold on. Yeah, it says they're available from April and you can talk about it after the 17th of March, which was ages ago. So this is the Future Collection, is that what it's called? The Future Collection? I don't know. F-U-T-U-R-E, yes. The words were a little bit, or the letters were jumbled up. I can't even see them there. That's the press release. Release. There are some bits there being released, but I'll show you what I was sent anyhow. So, what I have used before, I really like this. I haven't actually used it since I left the brand though. Like, I haven't had one since. These are the Luster Drops. Um, this one is in Pink Rebel, and it is a liquid highlighter. Gorgeous stuff, like really, really lovely stuff. 
Um, I'll show you quickly. Oh yeah, this is lovely. For some reason, this was brought out, it was reformulated. I don't know if it was reformulated or was it an accident, but there for a while when I was still with the brand, they brought this out and it was really pink, like ridiculously pink, and I didn't know why they changed it like that, but now it's gone back to just what it was with a slight pink tinge, like a gold pink tinge. Can you even see that? Actually, I don't know, can you? I might as well show it to you before um, I rub it in, because that would make sense. So, it's like this, it actually looks more peach now. So it's changed color again. That peachy kind of gold, so you can probably see it more there. And then, it's not too slippy or too mullion, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, like, you've been too slippy, it does dry in and it leaves that lovely sheen on the skin. Really, really lovely, those are great. Um, they're great to use on clients as well because you don't have to worry about them getting like too shiny looking or too sleepy looking, like I said, so I like that formula. I do really, really like that. Um, I can't remember how much, I was gonna say, I can't remember how much they cost, but sure the price is probably here. And I'm dropping everything. So, luster drops are 23 quid. There is another, so Pink Rebel is existing. Um, it was there when I worked there. There's another rose gold. So that's described as a soft pink champagne. And then Barbados Girl is another one that's going to be in the collection. That one I'm sure is limited though, because I've never heard of it before. And that is um, rose gold bottle. So let's move on to the Lippy. This is one of the um, mineralized lipsticks, so it's like luxury, it's like they're luxury lipsticks because uh, the, you, the the lipsticks by MAC are they 20 euros yet? They were 19, I think they went up to 19.50 or else maybe they're 19, I don't know, but these guys are about 26 quid. Now this one is called Cybernaut. I don't want to swatch just in case, but it's just like a pinky nude. I wonder what it's like. I, I love this one here, uh, by which is Lux, Lux Naturel. It's a nude as well. Oh yeah, okay, so the Lux Naturel, the one that I normally use, is a peachy nude. And then this one is more of a pink-based nude. So they're not actually that similar when you see them side by side. Um, and I actually tend to prefer... Actually, yeah, I am gonna swatch it because I love these colors, so let's see. I love that formula. Yeah, that's lovely. Can you even see that? Oh, you can. Um, really love that formula. It is very, <clears throat> oh God, I don't know what keeps getting caught in my throat. It is very luxuriant. I really like that formula. So there you go. I was also saying this looks class. I tend not to be bothered about, overly bothered about um, lip glosses normally. It's one of the mineralized lip glasses again. And it's called The Zone. I should tell you the price, sorry. The price of the lipstick will be um, 27, yeah. So they are a little bit more expensive. And then this one is 25. This is like a cool, what do you call it, taupe? Like a mauve taupe. And, yeah, like with a gray kind of undertone. No, it's not gonna look like much there. You can kind of see it but it has like a, a slight gold shimmer going through it. And I think you might be able to pick that up there. I don't know, but like, I like that tone. I like those kind of slightly unusual tones when it comes to lip glosses. So I'll definitely be using that and keeping that. And then the last two things, first of all, we have, actually, yeah, these are all mineralized. I was gonna say, why are these all mineralized? It's obviously all mineralized in the collection. This is one of the mineralized quads. And we're looking at uh, 44 euro per quad. So that's what this is. Uh, you'll probably know these to see. This is one is called Full Orbit. Yeah. And there you go. I personally wouldn't use those shades very often. Um, they are great. I'll tell you what they're described as. Um, Creamy white, dirty olive, deep grey, and a soft brown with pearl. Ooh. So, yeah, those are the shades there, which are gorgeous. Do you know what I'm gonna use this for, actually? 
I am currently as I'm speaking, but I, I might have reached it by the time this is up. I am two followers away from 1,000. Whoa, <laughs> a whole thousand followers on my um, on my personal like freelance makeup page on Facebook. So this isn't my YouTube one; it's my personal freelance makeup page. Um, and I said I'd do a giveaway once I reach that, so I'll probably use this in that giveaway. And it's Siobhan McDonald makeup on, on Facebook. Um, but yeah, that's what I'll use that for. They're great, like I really, hold on. <laughs> um, I really rate those, that formula. I just am bonkers about those colors myself, so I don't wanna waste it on my on myself. Now this looks lovely. I'll probably keep this one. It is one of the mineralized skin finishes. It's a bit odd looking though. It's uh, 31 euros and I got Otherworldly, which I'll show you now in a sec, and it's described as soft brown with soft pink and silver. Not all switched together, they're actually separate, but I'll just show you what I'm on about. And then this is the last product for today. So there we go, the regular, um, the regular mineralized like container. These were the old ones that a lot of people would have been used to, but now they all come in these packets. So packets, packaging has changed. And then this is the, actually, I don't know will I keep it for myself though. Hmm. Not that I don't like it, but I'm just saying, I don't know if I'll get much use out of it. I'd say though, like that gold and silver looks like an overlay. I could be wrong. I'd have to actually like, really dig into it to find out. A lot of times when you see, cause that gold and silver is kind of shimmery as in like, glittery shimmery whereas that lovely pink in the middle is much more smooth it's just like shimmer whereas the other two are glitter like the gold and the silver is glitter and usually when you see that that's just an overlay so i'm feeling once you get through the top layer of those it'll just be pink all underneath that's the way it used to be anyhow with a lot of the other mac stuff um, but that's really pretty that's called other world me so those are out now in the it's always the first thursday in april that Mac um, in April in any month. It's the first Thursday in any month that um, Mac collections are released in Ireland. So we've already passed that, haven't we? Yeah, sure, it's the 11th now or something like that. So that should be on counter now at the moment if you are interested in that. Hold on, it is April, isn't it? Yeah, it is April. So um, have a look at that anyhow. And that's it for now, guys. So I'll see you all on Friday. I'm hoping my eye will have, um, my eyelids will have cleared up enough that I can do a makeup tutorial because I really want to do a makeup tutorial for you. I wanted to do one today as well and hopefully that'll be up on Friday. Follow me on YouTube, I was going to say YouTube. Follow me on um, Snapchat anyhow for if you do want to have an idea of what I'm going to do for my videos because I generally give away an idea there of what I'm going to do. Um, and that's just Shiv Let's Makeup if you want to follow me there. So I will see you all on Friday and here for my next video, whatever it's going to be. Until then, take care. <laughs> it's fun, guys. Bye. I always do this. I can never find this because there's so much shite on top of it. Hum, 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 hum.